Welcome to the 2017 English Paper 1 of Aa Khan University Examination Board Listening Comprehension Section. Listen carefully to the first passage then open paper 1 booklet and read questions 1 to 10. You will get 2 minutes for reading. The passage will be played one more time. You can make notes on your question paper. When the recording has finished, enter your answers on the separate answer sheet provided to you. You will have 4 minutes to pencil in your answers. Follow the instruction on the front page of paper 1 to show which of the options A, B, C or D you have selected for each question. Do not turn over the page until you are told. Now, please listen to the passage. How to spot a liar? Lying occurs between friends, teachers and students, husbands and wives, lawyers and clients. Yet, nobody wants to be caught. Psychologists have come up with various indicators of how people behave when they are lying. If you want to detect a liar, here are some tips. a flushed expression a lack of eye contact and hesitancy are considered telltale signs by some for spotting a liar but now an expert has revealed other subtler signs you should watch out for in her new book called presence social psychologist amy cuddy explains some clues which can help you spot when a person is attempting to deceive you when a person is lying there's likely to be discrepancies between what they are saying and what they are doing the harvard business school professor suggests if you think you can spot a liar by their shifty gaze and hesitant manner you might need to think again new research suggests that the most untruthful people are likely to look you straight in the eye and give confident well thought out responses they are also likely to grimace make excessive hand gestures and use more vocal fill words such as um and err according to experts at the university of michigan A smile can sometimes mask a person's true feelings. Pay close attention to how a person smiles as well as other facial movements. You may be able to detect the emotions he or she is trying to hide, such as fear, anger, and disgust. A true smile reflects emotions and incorporates both a person's lips and eyes. Although a change in voice can be the tip off to spot a liar, experts say that to be sure, you should also pay attention to a person's speech rate and breathing pattern. If either speeds up or slows down, chances are you're not hearing the whole truth. If eye movement changes along with the breathing pattern, It is a further indication of a person being untruthful. We think liars fidget all the time, but many freeze their upper bodies because they are busy concentrating on their lies. We also think that a liar won't look you in the eye, but he makes eye contact more than most people do because he's overcompensating. However, one indicator isn't proof that someone is lying. It's important to look for a cluster of signals. Read questions 1 to 10. You have 2 minutes time for reading.
Listen to the recording again. While listening, you may keep the question booklet open in front of you. How to spot a liar? Lying occurs between friends, teachers and students, husbands and wives, lawyers and clients. Yet, nobody wants to be caught. Psychologists have come up with various indicators of how people behave when they are lying. If you want to detect a liar, here are some tips. A flushed expression, a lack of eye contact, and hesitancy are considered telltale signs by some for spotting a liar. But now an expert has revealed other subtler signs you should watch out for. In her new book called Presence, social psychologist Amy Cuddy explains some clues which can help you spot when a person is attempting to deceive you. When a person is lying, there is likely to be discrepancies between what they are saying and what they are doing, the Harvard Business School professor suggests. If you think you can spot a liar by their shifty gaze and hesitant manner, you might need to think again. New research suggests that the most untruthful people are likely to look you straight in the eye and give confident, well thought out responses. They are also likely to grimace, make excessive hand gestures, and use more vocal fill words such as um and er, according to experts at the University of Michigan. A smile can sometimes mask a person's true feelings. Pay close attention to how a person smiles as well as other facial movements. You may be able to detect the emotions he or she is trying to hide, such as fear, anger and disgust. A true smile reflects emotions and incorporates both a person's lips and eyes. Although a change in voice can be the tip-off to spot a liar, experts say that to be sure, you should also pay attention to a person's speech rate and breathing pattern. If either speeds up or slows down, chances are, you're not hearing the whole truth. If eye movement changes along with the breathing pattern, it is a further indication of a person being untruthful. We think liars fidget all the time, but many freeze their upper bodies because they're busy concentrating on their lies. We also think that a liar won't look you in the eye but he makes eye contact more than most people do because he's overcompensating. However, one indicator isn't proof that someone is lying. It's important to look for a cluster of signals. Now record the answers to the questions in the multiple choice answer sheet. You will have four minutes to record your answers.